Perfect pitch on a perfect day in this stadium. Martin Tyler here with you as usual. My regular sidekick, Alan Smith, I'm delighted to say, is with me as well. Serie A action. What a game this should be, Alan. We've got the team with the least goals for against the team with the highest goals for. And we'll see how that translates into the match that lies ahead. Yeah, well, the wayside can go for it here. You know, they would sniff a victory, and rightfully so. Empoli, here's their lineup for you. The player just behind the front two is going to have a lot of influence if they can get the ball to him. Yeah, it's the classic number 10 role, really, isn't it? And uh, if he can get on the ball and find some... Whoa, that's flown over the bar. Whoa, the crowd were up on their feet there. It was a spectacular effort. Pereira. Good pass in behind the defenders. Well, he has started fast and they've started fast. That's the opening goal. Was a good goal and it came at a, a crucial time, I think, for his side. Real captain's input there. And that has opened the scoring. 1 0 here. That's an easy cut out for the opposition, saw the pass coming. Nowhere near going into the net. I think it's come off the top of his head, that one. They're looking good when they attack. Oh, he's through. And that's a brilliant goal. Well taken. Well, he's not far out, but you've got to be on your toes these circumstances and he was just widen the margin here to 2-0 now they can swing into attack and he's got some help that'll be a throw Still got a bit to do, but this is promising. Can go in from here. Strong piece of defending and clearing. Threading it through. Can he finish it now? It's opened up. Pushed out by the goalkeeper, but only into a dangerous area. Well, the goalkeeper now at least can uh, relax a little bit. Uh, he was certainly tested to the full extent of his reflexes just a moment or two earlier. Yeah, I mean, the second save, a lot simpler than the first, that's for certain, but great goalkeeping. A goal at the San Siro, Alan McAnally. It's the second goal from the land. It's been scored by Coutinho. He lost his marker from a corner and powered home the header. 23 minutes played, 2-0. Eagle eyes, as always, from Alan McAnally. the way to win the ball back just a bit lax in possession advantage play we love to see it too deep Gaston Pereiro with the pass a real chance here well now it looks like a question of just how many they really are. well we're underway again and you just wonder how many more they can get today here's an opportunity maybe 
He is a savior there. And it's going to be a minimum of three minutes to be played of added time. Attacking now. Some players arriving in the middle now. Taking on the defenders. The defenders done very well there to stop the cross. Corner's taken. Defender did well to get to it, but hasn't really finished the job. So we've reached the break. As you can see from the scoreline as we start the second half, there might not be too much of a contest left in this game. Quick-witted and quick in his movement too to intercept there. Keeping an eye on events elsewhere is Alan McAnally as usual. Alan, what's happening in your game? It's a third goal for the home team. 49 minutes played. 3 0. Well, oh, many thanks, Alan McAnally, keeping us up to date as usual. Now, looking ahead on EA Sports and our football coverage, the Serie A fixture is Empoli, and they'll be facing Sassuolo away from home. Well, given their respective form, I think this is going to be a good game and big three points at stake. It's their corner. Corner swung in. There's still danger here after this half clearance. They've set it up well for the cross. It's not really a way, poor clearance. One or two players are warming up for the home team. We'll see who comes on. Excellent interception. Into the attacking third. Space to try and hit it now. Truly outstanding. And in it goes. Only partially away from danger. Very able to get his body in the way. So you will see the visiting team in action on EA Sports in their next fixture in Serie A. Well, finally, we've got the news. This intriguing deal it has been rumbling on for a while. It has gone ahead. Yeah, for me, it's going to be money well spent. He'll add a lot of quality to his new club, I'm sure of that. And yet another corner. The target he certainly went for strength nothing wrong with the connection either 20 minutes of the 90 still to play and off he goes with some options well they were well placed until that tackle Pereira. Gaston Pereira. And they're better than that. That's rather sloppy. Now you expect 100% effort, and these supporters don't think they've seen it. Their players haven't shown enough aggression, enough energy out there. That's an easy interception. The pass wasn't really a very thoughtful one. He's won it back, easily. Well, here he goes. It's good to see a player do this. Guiding it through. Opportunity here! And there it is! Body language at this kickoff isn't great, is it? And you can understand why. We've got 10 minutes left on the clock. Well, the tackle there has led to a throw. 
this is the sort of side with the credentials to win the league and they're getting themselves in a good and he could get away here wonderful reflexes to make the save from close range put the corner in the middle Pereira here's an opportunity maybe it's another one for them they go further in front and they are full value for this position a very comfortable margin for victory can't really be any comeback in the time that we've got left with such a difference between the two teams he's read that hasn't he and made the interception made it look easy actually if you want to hear what's going on in the Milan game, there has been a goal, and Alan McAnally is there and can tell us all about it. It's another goal for Milan. It's been scored by Coutinho. He got between two defenders, he got his head and a low cross from the left. Five minutes remaining, 4-0. Eagle eyes, as always, from Alan McAnally. Two minutes of added time. That's what it says on the board. Gaston Pereira. Trying to get the ball in behind. Played in the clear. That's more what we expect from him, Alan, isn't it? He's a decent keeper, but he's not been at his best today. No, but the key is to, to keep going, to not lose heart, and he's not done that. It was a promising situation. They could have made more of that. And there we are, final whistle.